Hello, and welcome to our... <laughs> All right, fine, I'll do Salve. Good. Good. All right, start again. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'm 100% serious all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Salve and welcome to a path of a pit fighter. Um, today we have Zach. Oh, hi, I'm Chloe Chaos. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's an Empire meme. <laughs> Empire okay. Meme uh, Zach playing the role of yeah, Chloe I'm Chaos. Chloe Chaos today. <laughs> and. Andrea, who's just being a part of the video because she's there. So today we're going to discuss the path of becoming a pit fighter, what myself and Zach both play at Empire. Um, we're going to break it down to some stuff of kind of the origins of the pit, um, where it's kind of going now with the type of, uh, type arc of pit fighter, and then a few questions that people have thrown out. Um, so we're going to answer it. Yes. So the story of the pit. Do you know it? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I did, but then you put the Wikipedia article away and I'll get it wrong. Uh, <laughs> so so right. the story that I was told of the pit, now I hope I've got this right, so as far as I've been told, uh, the story of the pit was the first orcs that went to Anvil about 60 years ago constructed the pit there. So you've had all you know, all types of orcs throughout the last 60 years you know, fight their problems, their issues grievances and well some of them that just like the idea of punching each other um so it's now a good way to expel rage yeah. it is it does it, it helps it's, it's you work good. through personal problems and it's stuff that, yeah. yeah um so where it is now it's kind of i think the the pit is separate to a pit fighter so i guess you know as much as we use the pit as kind of our area to be able to do what we do um you also have shamans and everyone else who do their stuff there yeah, so often gets used you know doing rituals and stuff you know providing we don't need a um need to go up to i'm so not in all my empire stuff at the minute winter's no. been long and i i've not got the words that i'm trying to use <laughs> okay. to hand um but yeah like so you know i've done i've done uh cast rituals within the, in the pit um my initiation to the power rictus was in the pit you know, it's widely used as yeah, well. So it's not just for fighting as well. Yes, yeah. more. Um, like, I've done in the pit. It's yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Isn't it's it? a nice little stage. Yeah, actually. it's good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, especially so, as the you know with the the ancestors are where you you hear them the most nice. when you're in the pit and when you're in combat. And so it's kind of like a the pit's very special to to uh, the imperial. Orcs. Yeah, I think you you need to definitely separate <laughs> between the pit fighters and the pit. It mm. is. It is two separate things, Definitely. really. Um, but the the pit now is is seen as as an everything. As as people mm. can go in there and do their rituals and things like that. Um, so if we take it that as kind of our section to move over to kind of pit fighters. Yes. Um, so the pit fighting game now. Um, when I first got to Empire, I don't know about you. Um, there wasn't really anything to do as a pit fire, bar from, no. you know, when people were just like, can I have a pit fire? It's kind of like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go. But it was um, never a really, <clears throat> excuse me, it was never really like a, a big thing. It was, you know, nothing, nothing, no fuss, I guess. Fuss isn't the right word, but it yeah. was never like, it wasn't like when we put on a, a pit fighting show, it was, yeah. like, you know, a lot of people are there. It's kind of a, <laughs> for lack of a better word, a spectacle. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> You're right there? <clears throat> yeah, man. Can you dive yeah, no, I think I might need some new lungs. <laughs> some new lungs. Okay. <laughs> I got a lung for me. Uh, <laughs> I immediately got distracted from what I was saying. That's fine. Don't worry. So it was kind of going. The show we put on was more of a yeah. Spectacle. That that was that's kind of where it is now. But when mm. you first came to uh, to Empire, certainly when I first started, it wasn't like that. I mean, it was only two um, two events before you did. I think yeah. It was yeah. like E1 last year. Yeah. Yeah. So two events before you did. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't until you and Tom had your kerfuffle in there that got people really excited about it and yeah but I, I think that I, I think that is uh, an individual thing I think mm -hmm. that's I think that was Tom who was playing Scar at the time I don't think he's rest in peace <laughs> um <laughs> gone too soon uh, I think he's 
his character wasn't a, a pit fighter archetype. Um, that was just someone who was who was bored at the time and was just like, yeah, yeah. anyone want to fight? And I was kind of, yeah, I'll go. Um, All right, John, calm down. <laughs> I think... <laughs> <it's terrible. laughs> um, I think the pit fighter kind of... Where we started to get work, like <clears throat> a story for the pit fighters and what they do at Anvil was more started because of Owen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, o- yeah. Owen kind of like ask was the one that set up this kind of it was kind of, it was a mock general fight between uh Lupo's house and the orcs uh of the imperial orcs um and it was his test I think it was Lupo's test of metal that he had to go to every nation and get like a challenge from everyone. So that that was Ask's thing to do. So that started a bond between the pit fighting orcs and Lupo's house. Um, and then that's kind of snowballed. You know, obviously with Owen's character Ask dying, it kind of left him not there anymore. <laughs> Um, uh, so he was he wasn't around. So it was kind of that idea that the the person who had set this up wasn't around. So we had to start finding our own work to do. Yeah. So that's where we kind of came up with the idea that his house would pay us to train him, and then that snowballed. And then the idea that that was where pit fighters' work was going to come from, and we would get paid. I mean. Pretty handsomely as well. So, well, I mean, I haven't been paid yet. I mean, I don't know about you. Uh, I am just handsome. Okay. That doesn't answer the question, but yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why did you invite me for this again? <laughs> You're a pit fighter as well. Oh, yeah, is that it? Yeah, it's pretty much. Um, so yeah, it was kind of, that had built it. And that snowballed the idea that we would get work and we would make our fame and make our notoriety for going through Anvil, working with different people, and that's where it will kind of be born from. Yeah. So anyone thinking that they're going to go and become a pit fighter, that's most probably what you're going to do. You're going to go earn a load of money for training people and putting on great shows. Yeah. But the big one is the shows, I think. So for me, yeah. I don't do a lot of the training stuff because I'm inept. Uh, but uh, I do, you know, I enjoy doing the, the big shows and that, and that's what I do that with Sammy. I go around and do the kind of appearance thing I guess me and you walk around together and you yep. beat me up in fields and stuff like that no um, no no don't beat each other up in fields <laughs> but yeah so for me I do trading alongside it as well yeah so it gives you a lot of social stuff. yeah you don't necessarily you know if your archetype is a pit fighter you don't necessarily have to do it the way I've done it or mm. certain other orcs you can do it a different way like Zach does where it is a part of who he is as a character but it doesn't define him yeah. necessarily I mean you speak at Senate now don't you as well you said no I spoke once in <laughs> Senate spoke once. Uh, because I have the Imperial Orc Wayleaf oh okay so I have to go and tell them what I'm doing with it oh okay uh, so is it because they don't trust you it's because they don't trust me no wait no that, they do <laughs> trust me okay I mean, I'm working with, with Matt or with Yargle so okay. he's just keeping on my best behaviour really okay good <laughs> luck good luck, <laughs> good luck that, uh, yeah I think um, the shows are probably what people are very would be more invested yeah. I think because that's a lot of people are very excited about yeah, like, you do get quite a lot of messages going, you know, when's the next one, what are you doing, yeah. this, that, and the other, it's kind of a part so of it. people want to be involved in it. How many, I've got a lot of, like, human friends have gone, can you put me in a pit fight? And, uh... It's kind of just like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I not, don't... I'm not in charge <laughs> I here. don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so that's kind of, mm. uh, like, uh, a basic summary of the pit itself. The pit fight is what we do. Um, so, we put it out there to the other Imperial Orcs, um, you know, some Q&A questions. So we're going to start the Q&A section. But before that... Game this, um, No. Oh. Um, <laughs> definitely not... Okay. Into when you invite yeah. I, I know, I didn't realise this. It was, um, it was so dumb. It it's a good was. job that we do, you know, I couldn't make it so when Chloe was here because the three of us together, you'd have done nothing. Yeah, yeah no way. It would have been just like... Re- for two hours, you know? <laughs> 
If I had him in the video, he'd have to upload that. Um, so before that, uh, one thing, <clears throat> one thing we are definitely going to put in is. <laughs> oh my god! <goodness. laughs> <I'm> getting excited. <laughs> the lead up really. um, is PDs rules about grappling. Yes. Um, now, I haven't got them to hand, but I am going to insert them here. If you have any queries on grappling, we have left PD's contact information in the description below. We have also left a link to the Wikipedia where all of this information can be found. Right, so there you would have seen uh, PD's rules about pit fighting. Uh, one of the big things I must stress is that uh, any grappling or anything like that is not done without a ref being there um, and only certain types of you know, grappling can happen outside of the pit, but a ref must be there at all times. Please do not grapple without a ref there. Cannot stress this enough. Mm. Um, you know, people fighting unsafely, someone's gonna get hurt. We're not saying we're professionals by any by any means because we're not. Speak for yourself. <laughs> However, we do try and be as safe as possible. Yeah. So please follow those rules. Um otherwise we get in trouble. So if we, we wanna get, keep, you know, pit fighting. So Yeah, if we get in trouble, pit gets taken away and then you mm. know then everyone will be sad. Especially Sammy. He'll cry for weeks, years. I've got that long left. Yeah, I know. Awesome. You're an old man now. I'm an old man already. I'm like nearly 30. <laughs> Don't tell them my age! <laughs> Called out. <laughs> uh... Cut to the Q&A section! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unnecessary explosions and stuff. Pizzazz. Pizzazz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... Not really. It depends. Like, if you're being safe, it shouldn't hurt. No more than throwing yourself on the floor. Um, because that, I mean, you know, I've been choke slammed in the pit. I've been hit the face with a hammer in the pit. You know, I've jumped off the top of the pit. It doesn't hurt if you're safe with it. I think the big, the key, the key there is the safe thing. Because if you start trying to, you know, do some ridiculous move that you cannot do, that you're not trained to do, uh, you're going to hurt someone. I have a special move. It basically, what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so special move. Yes. Uh, well, I think we talked about this actually today. Yeah. Um, that uh, we didn't really. There was no stress on people having special moves until we sort of thought about it today. And it could be a quite a cool thing to implement. Um, that if an orc has a special move, it's because it's come down from their ancestors before them. Uh, so Kronk's is a super kick. Because yeah. I love super kicks. Uh, What's a super kick? A super kick. Here! And then we'll put, like... The no, we won't. Oh, okay, we won't put... Because <laughs> I can't uh, get that footage. Uh, so a super kick is where you kick someone in the face mm. from standing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've done yoga to stretch my legs. You're, you're getting quite high. Yeah, I know. I genuinely there. think you could kick me in the face I really now. think I could. Right. I'd be nearly there. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty proud of you. Thank you. Um, I would say... Balls... Finisher most probably would be a stunner. I, f I feel like I've done that yeah. more than any other move that I've done before. Um, so you mean you're not going to, you can't see me, John Cena? I'm not John Cena. Bull Cena. It's not Bull Cena. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say the stunner is, it, I think if we're going to do the whole it's an ancestry thing, I think I'll most probably change it um, to something with a bit more pizzazz because, well, not that pizzazz full is it it's a i like the stunner because of wrestling it's <laughs> not wrestling it happens, but yeah you're not stone cold steve austin i know what would raw's uh, finisher be is it the i can't see you <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> what? See, i'm not i'm not big on this wrestling now I think no, it'd be. Why the fuck I, 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 I think it'd be a diving headbutt. Diving headbutt. But she just misses. <laughs> <every time. laughs> She'd be listening out for like sonar. Oh god! <laughs> and then just jumps off the top rope. It's like, <laughs> and then just hits. I just like just off. I imagine Raw just at the top of the pit going. Ow! Ow! 
I'm trying to do sonar noises, but obviously you can't get your voice into that pitch, so you're just screeching and then <laughs> jump and just face bar. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. or she cli- like she thinks she's climbing up the side of the pit, but in actual fact, she's on, she's on the sentinel gate. <laughs> she's on the sentinel gate. What are you doing? <laughs> I really liked the suggestion when you were thinking about doing the tag team one. And yeah. They nearly come in. Yeah. Uh, I really liked the one that you suggested for us to like slam that guy. Like when I run then like Description. <laughs> I can't even remember. Like, like, Speech one hundred. And then like, go down and then I'd like run and like climb on the back and then like jump off. The oh, 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 and so oh, that'd be poetry in motion. Yeah, poetry in motion. We That's cool. That. Yeah, it's a cool move. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. The answer is yes. Um we only do a very very small part of pit fighting it doesn't have to be hand to hand it can be with shields it can you know be with swords axes whatever you want to do it's just that's where we have more fun we have more fun doing it hand to hand yeah because it's more of a show whereas i feel like the 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 way that so for me i've I've done i did when you know how general fights used to work yeah um my first event i did a general fight george threw me into the pit wall and split my lip open it was the best like I'd never laughed before. I'd never done anything. It was the greatest thing ever. I was so I had to go and have five minutes to sit down because I was like, "This is great." <laughs> that blood coming out my face. Um. Oh well, I think we kind of covered it in the beginning, but yeah, I guess so. But we we'll, we'll... but we kind of answer it again in a different way. Orcs fight in the pit to solve problems, disagreements. And if they really just don't like each other. Mm. Or for fun. Or for fancies. Yeah. I mean, you know. Some walks like to fight. Now, this is this is a theory, because there's no... I don't, I've never been told this, so it's kind of a theory that I'm working off. And I can't read, so if it's on the wiki, I've got no idea. Yeah. What, what's it? Um, what so, pit fighters. Yeah. Hearing their ancestors in the pit and what it does to them. Mm. Oh, uh, so for me, my my idea behind this is that the reason why we we want an audience and the biggest audience that we can possibly have is the fact if we have that pit surrounded by people screaming and shouting, the ancestors have to shout even louder. So every time they start screaming for you, the ancestors have to be even louder to be able to get to you. And for me, the an- the our whole idea of the ancestors inside the pit is they g you up that is giving you strength you know that inner strength and things like that so when you physically shouldn't be able to go anymore the ancestors are screaming at you to carry on to keep going to fight that little bit harder and just keep going and that was kind of my idea mm. yeah i role, it. i role play it a very similar way to the way i do in combat mm. um and that it's that kind of as you say, fight that little bit harder, push that little bit harder. Mm. Which sometimes you're, you know, bound by physical, <laughs> the reality of. <laughs> sometimes where, you, you just know, can't get you up. You take the mask off and you're like, <laughs> you know, you're an old crippled man. Yeah. Sorry. And. Uh, I'm not that old. I mean, yeah. I've got so much to give. List one thing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, I've got a question. Okay, go on then. Dave Batista. <laughs> Not I've, Dave Batista. I've got a question, Dave Batista. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, I'm interested in what you actually hear from your ancestors while you're in the pit. Um, so what do I hear? Um, <laughs> I hear Dave Batista <laughs> screaming at <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, get up. Like, um, do you have like a particular ancestor that you hear more? Or do you have like... Is it more barbarian ancestors? What What do you hear? What do you What's your head canon for what ball hears? Head canon would just be barbarian orcs mm. screaming at him to keep getting back up each time. Hot oh, damn! That yeah, would yeah. you know that would be my kind of go to reason. Oh, what kind of barbarian orcs? I don't know. This is some so pressure point. This is pressure point right now. Yeah. This is pressure point. I've asked you a question you weren't prepared for. I was not prepared for this. Not at all. Do you even know what ancestors are? Sam? No. Oh my god. Of course I do. So triggered. <laughs> so. Uh, what about the yeah, so, Crunk. Yeah, I'll yeah, ask I'm someone not... who might know the answer yeah. to that question. Uh, so, 
for Crunk when, uh, and this both goes for combat and in the pit fight, but pit fight, I kind of try and role play differently. I think it's quite a hard thing to convey because no, I don't think people when they're watching are thinking, what's your ancestor saying? But I still try and get an ebb of role play yeah, in there. Because so, the other orcs would get it, but the yeah, humans would be like, what? Definitely what's not. Uh, so, and actually there was a sort of a showcase of it in my fight with Chloe. Mm. Uh, Crunk has this kind of like, I don't want to sit down. I don't want to stay down. No matter how hard you hit me, I'm going to keep trying to get back up. Mm. And uh, sometimes gets a bit cheaty and pulls out a little hammer to try and get the upper hand. And it wasn't a little hammer. It was a big hammer. <laughs> it was a, big it was a, big it was a really big hammer. Yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't a really big hammer. It wasn't like Lucas's gigantic, like, God, imagine trying to pull that out in a pit fight. Like, <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like almost desperation in that case where... Uh, it's so desperate to win, so desperate to prevail that then tries to cheat. Yeah. But namely, it's the the never sitting down, never staying down, because uh, I don't. You know, Crunk's a young orc, very young orc who likes fighting, mm. loves fighting. Uh, not very good at it. That's just me being bad. Uh, likes fighting, um, and yeah, it doesn't ever sort of want to stop. So when it comes to pit fights, I always role play the ancestors are very. Do not stop. Do not yeah. give up until you have beaten your opponent, and often it's you've just been beating yourself. You're unconscious now. Uh, <laughs> that's it. No that's more. That's it. No more. But yeah, I know if that answers your question. Favorite. I mean, it's obviously going to be when I jumped off the top. It was the coolest thing ever. What? Uh, what did? So, I'm never going to fly like that. Um, because that's structurally not not <laughs> that sound. <laughs> I'm not very aerodynamic. I'm not very aerodynamic. What did what did it feel like being up that high? So and then jumping into the iron tide. As a child, I loved jumping off things. Mm-hmm. I was a very jumpy child. Still am, actually. Yep. Um, it's the landing. I was always very bad at. Uh, so. It was fun. I, as soon as you pitched the idea, I was like, absolutely, yes, I want to do that. Um, jumping onto the Iron Tide. So there was originally supposed to be four people catching me. It ended up only being two because James, who was supposed to be there, died in the battle earlier that day. Yeah. And um, so did Dave get drafted in? I uh, d- yeah, yeah, Dave was drafted in. The best thing about the jump was Dave. Because Dave had no idea what was coming. <laughs> and the look on his face as I flew towards the group of my side was amazing. And I'll never forget it. I love you, Dave. <laughs> Please. We, love all, me. We, yeah, we, we all loved it. Yeah, that was good. Uh, it, was, it was really fun. It was exciting. The crowd went nuts. Yeah, I mean, I remember... So I was there spotting you for that. Mm. And so when the rumble started, me and you went round to the position. Yeah. And there was this girl there. I remember, I don't know her name or anything like that. And we, we've gone over, and she looked She looked really, really sad. And then we were just like, sorry, can... And they, <laughs> they had, like, front row seats. Yeah. And we were just like, sorry, can, really you, can you jump out of the way? And they were like, what? And I was like, look, as soon as this is... As soon as, as soon as we go, you can take it back. We'll let you take the space back. As soon as he gets called... Because uh, obviously no one knows what's going on, bar from a select few. So we're there, his name gets called... He starts clambering up the side of the pit, and I'm there holding him. Everyone around is like, "What? Wait, what? What's what's <laughs> happening?" And then, literally, all all I see is I'm holding him with one hand, trying to keep people from from, from kind of like pushing me around me. I literally feel him jump, so he leaves my hand, and then every you just hear this kind of gasp and like, "What has happened?" And then by the time it, he had kind of leapt and gone, I had to get round because I was coming You're, in a yeah, little bit later. One or two numbers later. Yeah, you? and so I had to run round, so I didn't actually get to see the spot happen itself. But that, oh, it was so good. It was, it was so good. It felt very good. Um, I would say mine's kind of... I've kind of got a bit of a split favourite moment. Um, Talk about another one, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. So I think first one would be... Putting Scar, that's what I was through, the, say. through the table. You putting Scar through the table was um, so cool, and that that one was that one was that one was all Tom. I, I, you know, Tom is a massive wrestling fan like me, and he just turned around, and goes to me on the Thursday. He's got, hey, I got this idea, and I'm just like, all right. And he goes, right, what I want to happen is this. I'm just like, all right, cool. And he goes, I think it was on the Friday morning. He goes off to home base and he comes back. 
and he just looks over at me. <laughs> looks over me, this massive piece of wood, and just smiles. And I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh, um, I'm <laughs> And then he ripped bull on it, and we we discreetly hid it away. Um, and kind of the whole thing was he had been beating on me the whole match and kind of gone into to realms that weren't ever seen before in pit fights. Mm, yeah, when he had where, a bit of... Uh, was it your wrap? Yeah, he'd, 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 yeah. he'd, he'd <laughs> unwrapped my hand wraps of what, you know, as any Imperial Orc kind of knows that that is sacred. Your neck wraps, your leg wraps, and your hand wraps are massively important yeah. and they don't come off. Now, for someone to take them off, is a it's massive no no and yeah. it's insulting and I think it just works so well and yeah he had just beat me down this this whole whole match Kept, walked out of the pit what well, at that point I don't think it had ever been done before mid match someone just going right I'll be back in a second yeah no kind no, of picked it, was... it up set it set it down uh, sorry set the whole thing up and then picks me up uh, goes to kind of get me to. I think he was he was gonna power bomb me yeah. through the table, and then I kind of get out of it and spine buster him through it, and you could hear the wood crack, yeah. and everyone around the whole crowd was. Like, oh. I was stood. I can't remember who I was stood with watching now, um, but whoever I turned to him and, and, and was like, "Oh!" As soon as it happened, it was so good. That was my other moment. I was gonna say it was yeah. when you put Tom to the table. It was the coolest thing, yeah. especially you know no one had done it. Like, this was the first proper big pit fight, yeah, um, and that happened, and everyone was like. It was it, awesome. Yeah, it was it, amazing. It was an incredible thing, and I, I, I think that will, you know, will will kind of live. Set the bar high. It know? did, yeah. It set the bar high. I think my other moment. It, I think this is more of a personal moment. Um, growing up a fan of wrestling, mm. it's not wrestling, we know. But anyway, um, growing up a fan of wrestling, um, yeah, I always wanted to be one, but never did. Um, but there was one moment in particular that kind of really got to me a little bit inside was um when my name got called for the rumble mm. and everyone because at this point the iron tide had taken control and no one was getting for anything and it was the point where my name got called out and the whole place yeah everyone just went nuts everyone went nuts yeah, and for awesome. me you know be, being that guy i was kind of like literally you know, behind that mask, I was I was shaking because yeah. I was just like, this this is a minuscule of what they feel on the big time. Yeah. I've said that to you before, actually. It's like the closest we'll ever be. The, the closest direction. we'll ever be. But that one moment where everyone lost it, going in, throwing out all of the Iron Tide bar from Scar. And then that moment where it kind of goes really quiet because no one understood what was happening. Yeah. And then me and him stand face to face look at each other and then everyone kind of realizes what's going to happen yeah. and they lose their crap again like there was so much energy coming out of it you know what and, so, no, sorry go on carry on and it was it was just <laughs> it was just both of us looking around at all of the audience and just go this is that feeling this is and I think for me that you know whether a bull dies or whatever that will always stick with me Definitely. for doing anything. I think it resonates through a lot of uh, the people who've been involved with the pit fights. Um, they all say the same thing. They always say actually that feeling when you know when Chloe said it when she did the first one after with with herself and, and Martin. <laughs> <laughs> when we had our pit fight afterwards um, and everyone was cheering and she said that it was it was great you know that feeling is really cool and everyone who's done the pit fights has said the same thing that yeah. feeling of everyone cheering you is really it's just amazing yeah so we hope that low battery um, it's fine it still records we hope that that was so loud as well. <laughs> that was uh, we hope that everyone who comes along to do pit fights and that and is involved with pit fighting will have the same experience yeah because it's a very uh very cool one. It's really cool, and I'm excited to do the next uh, the next show. Yeah, um, E1. Yeah. Should, should, should we do, should we do a shameless plug? Yeah, shameless plug. Shameless, shameless plug. plug. So E1. E1. Saturday night, six o'clock. Be there or be square. You know, it didn't, I didn't know until until <laughs> very recently that the whole be there or be square is you're not around, so you're not a circle, so you're square. It's a really, yeah, I didn't know that. 
I feel like we should end on that note. I feel like we should end on that. <laughs> Did you know that every single time you clap, you never stop? Oh, that's much better than what I was doing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, here we I go. I can't tell if it's in frame. Yeah, it is in frame. <laughs> I have these on my wall. I look at them at night time. <laughs> we don't need to know. Anyway, uh, we're going to end it there. Um, thank you very much. And we hope that this has given you some insight into what it takes to be a pit fighter. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment. Or if you know who I am on Facebook, or you know who Zach is on Facebook, feel free to message us and we will help you in any way that we can. Hello, Don't hello. message Andrea because, well, she's useless. She can't see. She's actually she... blind in real life. It's not yeah. even a gimmick. It's true. Not really. No. <laughs> she said <laughs> Lamar sat there painting a mark the whole time. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye. Adios!